Hello everybody, how are we doing? How are we feeling? It's Victoria here. I wanted to come through with a full moon reading for the collective. Uh, as some of you may know, we just had a full moon in Leo yesterday and it was a very powerful one as always and so I wanted to come on here and see what messages we have for you guys. This is going to be an all signs reading so no matter what sign you have this is going to be for the collective i'm still having uh sales on my personal love readings so if you are interested do hit me up um at vx prada on twitter shoot me a dm i also have a pisces season forecast early bird special going on right now so you can click that Okay, so we got the Nine of Wands, we got the Wheel of Fortune, of course, and that's that Leo energy right there. Um, and then we got the Three of Swords. I'm feeling that for a lot of you, you are realizing how your past, um, your the insecurities that you've had in the past and the times that you've doubted yourself, um, how many missed opportunities that really created. Um, you were pretty much like really on the fence about trying new things. Um, even if things resonated with you, you had issues really like going through it, um, following through with things or putting yourself out there. And I'm seeing that um, there was a fear of rejection that I think you are letting go of. We got the two of swords. So now you're debating your next move. Moon in Leo, when we think of Leo, we think of the king of the jungle, we think of vitality, we think of passion, creativity. This is hot, fixed, um, hot, fixed energy. This is a fire sign that reminds us, nine of cups, reminds us who we are, what we are capable of. What do we wish to manifest? Full moon is the completion of your manifestations from the new moon, which is um, the previous moon cycle. And so what's really interesting about new moons is that they'll always be in the same sister sign as the full moon. For example, we just had full moon in Leo. The new moon that we had, um, was it January 25th? that was in the sister sign of Leo, which is Aquarius. So it all sh comes to show that it does a whole full circle. Anyway, it's just a really beautiful time. Miracles happen, the unexpected happens. You now get to see yourself from an outside perspective, from your, your, your highest self. And you're just thinking about what the new possibilities could ever be possible. So I'm seeing a lot of you are definitely contemplating. Um, some of the things you're contemplating really has to do with putting yourself out there and getting attention, like selling your business or putting your best foot forward, making a good impression. I'm seeing a lot of um, a lot of different paths and choices are to be made around this time and especially because we still are in the early months of the year we're still able to like have the whole kind of year ahead of us and think about all the, the different different ventures we could be following through with um, for some the realizations may have been surrounding heartbreak I do see mention of um, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius. Um, maybe this is a new romance starting with that sign, or maybe some of you are ending things with that sign, or maybe you are those signs and you had to end a relationship. Because there is mention of a heartbreak here. We got Nine of Swords in reverse. And so I really think that right now we are starting to think more about um, getting all of the the uh, logistics sorted so that we can get um, so that we can actually have like a good start at achieving our goals instead of just rushing into things like your instinct is definitely to just rush into things um, sometimes not very prepared um, a lot of you could have Saturn and Aries which what makes me think about because um, 
there's just this sense of rush when it comes a rush and independence when it comes to um, when it comes to your work ethic and um, an approach to uh, to achieving goals. So um, definitely toning it down a little bit. The new moon really helped you think about past mistakes. Um, past insecurities, past hesitations, and understanding how are we going to manifest the abundance that is now coming, the abundance that we are now making a wish and deciding on, because the options are there, the opportunities are there, it's only, it only depends on which choice you make, which path you decide to go to, to venture into. And um, the Two of Swords here also reminds us of the importance of making a decision. Because yes, you do have to take enough time to, um, to deliberate all the pros and all the cons and make sure that you're making this decision for yourself and not for anybody else. But at the same time, you are doing yourself and everyone else involved a favor by making this decision in the first step. So it's it's about like trying to get that mental clarity right now so that we can really um, put our heads together and focus on where we want to go next. We're feeling ambitious, but we're also still kind of, some of us may still be kind of feeling reserved um, because of past experiences not working out for our best interest. But right now we're slowly starting to open up to the ideas because we're seeing that there's a lot going on right now and there's just a lot of different options like all these cups here these are all different like options you can venture out into it just depends on making that decision first which direction do you want to go into once you do that the universe will be on your side and they will gift you um, everything you need in order to succeed they will help you through other people they will help you through the hardships that you've experienced um, they will help you through the lessons that you will um, acquire as you follow through the next the next six 12 months you know so I'm definitely thinking that some of you guys are taking the more um, analytical approach to your planning now it's it's more so a game of chess as opposed to like a physical race like it's less it's less like movement and action and it's more so like intellect and um, conversations like it's definitely that air sign um, energy like an, an air signs approach to um, to conflict or resolution or again achieving goals that is like the philosophy but it's a more refined energy where um, you're really understanding the bigger picture of things um, and you are so enlightened with all this foresight that is now given to you that you exactly high priestess intuition wisdom inner power inner voice listening to our inner voice being more feeling more connected with our spiritual self because leo is all about the self right leo is ruled by the sun which is our vitality it is our our ego, it is the um, the image that we portray. And so when we think of Leo, we think about the awareness of self and the moon being in Leo just furthermore um, emphasizes the awareness to our subconscious because the moon is all about how you, um, what makes you, what brings you um, peace of mind, what makes you feel safe, your sense of security, and of course, family and um, relationships with your relationship with your mother. However, now that the moon is in Leo for a full moon, a very um, powerfully, uh, like um, energetically charged time, um, now that the full moon is in Leo, you're going to become more aware of your subconscious mind and um, like the you know, that's why our sleeping schedule just goes out the door when there's a full moon because it, it really does, it is very primal and um, that's, that's, what, that's what comes to mind when you think about the moon. And yeah, so the high priestess here is just furthermore confirming the intuition that we're getting, the insight, the downloads, you know, um, make sure to stay hydrated. If you're feeling really, really tired, just make sure to stay hydrated because our, our bodies are processing energies right now. I mean, they always are, but 
like this uh, full moons are just that powerful. So nothing to worry about. Of course, this is just a great time to tap into your your psychic gifts, um, your natural abilities, everything that you have been inclined to look into. You are encouraged to pursue it because there really is good fortune around us. A full moon is a gift to us all. It is the completion of the new moon. Okay, let's see um, your psychic tarot message. Psychic tarot message for the collective. So how are we feeling? Are we feeling a little hyped? Because Leo is the life of the party. Leo takes center stage. Leo does not hide. And I don't know. I felt like yesterday was kind of like a party. Like even if people didn't have plans, even if people weren't going out, it just kind of felt like like a New Year's vibe kind of. I don't know. Okay. Sacrifice, reverse, emotional withdrawal, shadow, prosperity begins, exactly, because we're making plans, and patience. Yes, and so again, past mistakes, past sacrifices, past negative experiences, they have led you to really stall on life. You have allowed it to make you feel more cold, make you feel more, how do I say this? Arrogant, closed-minded, judgmental, because that's, I'm seeing the emotional withdrawal, and I'm just seeing that a lot of you closed up because there was just only so many cycles repeating themselves that you just started slowly giving hope and shadow comes up here. Your ancestors are with you during this time. They just want you to decide what it is that you want. Make a decision between these two paths. Um, these, there's two very distinct uh, paths that you could go down. And you have to make your decision so that your angels and your guide can actually guide and protect you towards, towards what it is that you are seeking. Because I'm also seeing patience here. And I'm seeing that this situation is going to really um, need you to plan things better in a more realistic way. Um, have faith in the universe because you are being supported and you are protected at this time, so you might as well embrace the love that the universe has for you and allow it to, like I said, guide you into the right direction. Prosperity begins, furthermore confirming that you are in fact in the right track and you are blessed by the universe because opportunities are going to present themselves. This could be about um, love and uh, work as well. Um, if, you've been experiences, uh, if you've been experiencing challenges connecting to your spiritual self, know that you will never lose that connection that is always going to be within you. If you are experiencing blockages, it's simply because you are forcing it and you are being impatient. Your ancestors are around you right now and they are supporting you. Your intuition is feeling even more stronger than it has before. And this is a great time, like I said, to develop the natural abilities that we all have to connect with the spiritual world and to connect within our higher self. This is really going to help you choose the direction you want to go into and plan accordingly so that you can catch these blessings. But I'm really seeing that you guys have to be more patient with yourself. Like, be optimistic and be open-minded to the ideas and the perspectives of others because your ancestors and your guides, they are helping you through other people. And so it's very important that you give others a chance, um, at least give them a chance to express themselves. And really the key is to not be so close-minded. I think this new moon really brought out your your ego, your potential, what you know you can prove everyone that like what you're really about. But don't forget the logical aspect of it too. It's not about just jumping the gun because you're trying to show off or you're feeling yourself a little too much. But I think that a lot of you are going to be great at like getting the logistics in check in order to make your dreams a reality because um, I've seen that you won't be feeling 
you'll be feeling optimistic, but you won't be feeling like overly impulsive. So that's a really good sign. Um, but yeah, a lot of you need to work on your patience and you have to set realistic goals. And um, when you meet them, do be proud of yourself and do celebrate because there's no reason for you to stay optimistic, continue being a shell of yourself simply to get nowhere and then feel even more sad that because you didn't get anywhere. Yeah. Deception and envy. So a lot of you are realizing recognition and reward. Um, yeah, a lot of people, these decisions that you need to make are in regards to the people that you are surrounding yourself with because you may be someone that is very social. You may be like a social butterfly. You have like many different groups or you go out a lot, like you go to events and you meet a lot of people. And so um, I do see that there are deception and envy surrounding your your friendships, your dynamics. So do keep an eye out for that. Um, I think it will be hard for you to part ways with these certain people, but for some, I really feel like, I really feel like it's just your higher self telling you like this is this person or these friends, like they're not it and you have to just walk away. And um, yeah, they have, they may have been cold towards you. They don't really support you. Like you just feel off about them. Like you don't feel you don't feel fully comfortable like there's just something that kind of holds you back or you're feeling cold towards them and I don't know but the dynamic is just kind of unstable and so you are guided to keep an eye out for that uh, deception and envy um, all right I'm going to pull a moonology card for you guys this is from my um, my new deck and um, yeah I'm gonna be reading off the description of the card from my little guidebook because I do not know them that well. So don't judge me. All right, so this is basically going to be an oracle message for the new moon. Um, okay, I'm going to do it for each element. Okay, so we're going to start off with um, Leo. So um, fire signs. So Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. What do they need to know? Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. All right, fire signs, your message is hold your vision, fixed moon. This is perfect because the moon we just had was in a fixed sign. I'm going to quickly um, read this. Actually, no, I won't because this is going to be too long. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I won't. Yeah. Okay. Hold your vision. Basically, fix, fixed moon means that um, you are being more eager to learn everything about what it is you need to do. You are, you're going to pay more attention to details and maybe even feel more... Um, more pressure on yourself to finish what you've started. All right, air signs. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, what do they need to know? It's gonna apply to sun, moon, rising, Venus, and an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you need a message. You guys got the meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces. Yeah, so a lot of you air signs can, can um, benefit from meditation during this time. It's just going to help you get a sense of mental clarity because a lot of you are lacking that right now. And like I said, a lot of you are not being open-minded enough. Um, meditation will give you the ability to take a step back and see yourself See things of yourself that you may not have noticed. You may also have um, Pisces placements in your chart and so, or uh, heavy um, Neptune influences and it's causing you to sometimes miss the bigger picture or miss what is right in front of you. It's, it's time to be more uh, attentive to the details and more um, passionate about what it is you're trying to achieve. All right, water signs. So Pisces, um, Cancer, and Scorpio. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, what is their full moon message? 
Aw, you got the new moon in Cancer. You and your loved ones are safe. You've been thinking about family a lot. Maybe you have, um, maybe you have, maybe Leo was transiting your fourth house. But, um, so it's like, Gemini rising or uh, Taurus rising. Um, but yes, I'm seeing that at this time, especially if, if you have cancer placements, you're starting to think about the foundation um, that you have, your home life and your roots. And um, this is just a card confirming that great things are in the works for you and your family. Stability um, will be had in your private life, your home life. And you're also finding balance between work and, um, and loved ones during this time. You're spending more quality time with them or you're taking your job a little more seriously um finding balance between work and private life which is beautiful all right last but not least we got the earth sign so virgo taurus um capricorn let's see what your full moon message is taurus capricorn virgo you got the awful moon in Virgo. You are good enough. Ah! Oh my God. Did everyone get their own sign kind of? Anyway, that's beautiful. Full moon in Virgo is all about, again, you are, you've been meticulous. You've been working hard. You have been reaching your goals. You have been of use to everybody. Everyone loves you. Everyone appreciates you. You're doing the best you can. And that's amazing. And um, you are good enough. It's about acknowledging your worth. This is what Leo, the, the moon in Leo was all about. It was acknowledging your worth. Leo is the sign that comes right before Virgo. And so once it gets to Virgo, the energy is kind of more like, I'm trying to be a service. I want to help the collective. I want to heal the collective. Um, you know, it's not so much about me. Like I, I just, I'm here to help. And so Virgo, Virgo, especially the Virgos out there, this is your time to feel yourself and to acknowledge how how useful you've been and how great you are and how beautiful you are and how loved you are. And Earth signs, there's nothing to beat yourself up about. We know that you're all doing the best you can and we are so proud of you and we can't wait to see what you have in store. So I love you guys. This is going to be the end of it. Again, hit me up for a personal reading at the X Prada and I'd be happy to deliver your messages. Happy full moon.